Hey guys, the son of the former Kaduna State Governor, Nasai Rufai, Bello has disclosed that his father and President Bola Tinubu have never been best of friends. Bello made a shocking revelation during a chat with Sheu on the latest episode of the MC on podcast. He added that his father was not the most hated. Uh, he added that his father was the most hated politician in Abuja. The son of the former Kaduna State Governor, Nasa Erufai, Bello Erufai, has submitted that the Labour Party 2023 presidential candidate, P2B, is not in the league of President Bola Tinubu. According to him, Tinubu is far better than Obi, and the former Anambra State Governor cannot even be compared to the likes of the former Lagos State Governor, Babatunde Fashola, or his father, Malam Erufai. The younger Erufai made this submission during a chat with uh, Shegu on the latest edition of the Mike, okay, uh, Mike on podcast. He added that if the opposition parties really wanted to defeat Tunubu in the in the last general elections, Atiku Abubaka, uh, Rabiu Kwankwetsu, and Obi himself should have worked together on those with the habit of dragging people online or offline. Erufai said he is not afraid though, to be called out and he is ready to reply accordingly. And Nigerians have this to say. Let your religion uh, bigotry father try his political strength in the next election now. Now him gets a mouth. He is used to saying anything he likes with impunity and behaving anyhow. Shebina then gets Nigeria. We the Igbos are people who when come to Nigeria with back hair. Eh? Good luck to you, Bello. Hold the one you hold, no wahala. Now God go answer you. These useless animals and useless fathers should pack well. Disgraced people. Obi will never ever rule Nigeria because it's too big for him. Young man, I can't spend my time making you popular as far as Nigeria is concerned. Though. You are just a son of you are just a son. If really biological, <laughs> even if a one-time governor of a state in Nigeria, and I have a lot of them as friends, so please, clear. These are reactions from Nigerians to show that Nigerians, you know, the, the, the statement he made about uh, the, uh, the former uh, candidate of the former aspirant, okay, uh, uh, Peter Obi, Labour Party aspirant, Peter Obi, in the 2023 presidential election, do not go down well, you know, with majority of uh, Nigerians. In another news headline, um, Northern Senators, under the aegis of Northern uh, Senators Forum, NSE, have confronted the Senate President to Godwin Okpabio over alleged padding of 2024 budget with about four trillion worth of projects. Representatives of the 58th number member forum led by its chairman Adu Ninge PDP Bauchi confronted Mr. Okpabio at a meeting on Thursday in the latest guest house located in the Matana district of Abuja. The members of the Senate's leadership present at the at attention soaked uh, meeting, apart from Mr. Okbabu, Okbabu, where his deputy, Ejubrin, APC Kano, and Chief Whip Ali Dome, APC Borono. It was not clear if the chairman, the Senate Committee on Appropriation, Adeola, okay, uh, APC Ugu, was in attendance. Premier Times gathered that during the meeting conveyed at the instance of the forum, the Northern Senators accused the, the Senate President of inserting project what 
4 trillion naira in the 2024 budget. They alleged that the projects, which had no locations, were discreetly inserted into, in, in, into the budget. They also claimed that the budget was lopsided against the North and some parts of the South. So, the Northern Senators also accused Mr. Okbabio of uh, railroading the Senators to hurriedly pass the most fraudulent budget in the history of Nigeria. They claim at the meeting that after clinically scrutinizing the budget, they came to the conclusion that it was self-serving in favor of Mr. Okbabio and his cronies. Our source said Mr. Okbabio could not defend the allegation, no, but said that hmm, the projects com uh, uh, complained about were probably incited into the budget oh, by unknown persons Why he, the Senate president, was hospitalized during the budgetary process. So he could not defend the allegation. Instead, he said he did not know how it happened. He said it may have happened when he was hospitalized. One senator who attended the meeting told Premier, uh, Premier Times. It was also learned that the Senate president, who claimed ignorance of the insertions, asked Mr. Udome if he knew how it happened. But the letter said he, from where? I know not. He was not aware. So before the, the meeting ended, Mr. Okbabi assured the senators that he would walk into their grievances. The lawmakers did not leave the Senate president without asking him to make amends. Another source said, hmm, Wahala, Nigeria. So guys, let's hear from you. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Thank you.